presidential candidate, Hawaii Representative Tulsi Gabbard. Welcome back to the broadcast. Good to see you. Let's get Thanks, right into Alex. it here. There's so much to talk about. Um, what's happening right now, in fact, the president is with Indian Prime Minister Modi. This massive event, what, some 50,000 or so right now at the NRG Stadium in Houston. Ahead of the visit, you tweeted, I'd like to extend a warm welcome to India Prime Minister Modi on his latest visit to the United States. Glad to see so many Indian Americans from all across our country, as well as many of my colleagues in Congress coming together there. So what do you think this is all about? And do you think that the Indian Prime Minister is at all playing into the theater around Trump's re-election with 50,000 potential Indian Americans in attendance? Uh, well, first of all, I think you can see how there has been and continues to be a bipartisan understanding of the importance of the U.S.-India relationship. You know, they're a strong trading partner, a strong security partner, the world's oldest democracy, the world's largest democracy. And, uh, you know, along with, with uh, President Trump being there, I believe Majority Leader Steny Hoyer will be there addressing the crowd. We'll have bipartisan members of Congress representing the importance of this relationship uh, between our two countries. Uh, I think every other time Prime Minister Modi has come and visited, you've seen these large crowds of Indian Americans coming out from all different parts of the country who feel very connected uh, to their homeland, but also who are really bringing to the forefront the diversity that we have in this country and the contributions that they are making as important parts of this diversity. No, and I very much appreciate those points you make, but are you at all concerned that Prime Minister Modi is being used by President Trump here? Uh, my concern is, and, and I'm sure Prime Minister Modi can handle things himself, but my concern is that overall this relationship is one that becomes politicized. Uh, we've seen, you know, when President Obama was in the White House, uh, he placed a great importance on this relationship. Uh, we've seen through time how this this uh, strength, this, this strong relationship has withstood the test of, you know, the partisan winds blowing one way or the other. And uh, I think it would be very unfortunate for this relationship to suffer or sour because of uh, partisan interests kind of overshadowing the real issues that are at stake. Okay, let's get to the whistleblower complaint. Uh, reportedly, 